In this screencast and the next, I will do some examples on computing arc length. The examples, particularly this first one, are not very inspired, but they illustrate the main points and the main steps of the calculation. So this would be an example of a typical problem you might be given. You um, let the curve C be parameterized by the following. So you're given the parameterization. In this case, I decided to make it three-dimensional. And uh, you're given specifically the interval. For computing arc length, uh, this is really necessary so as to know how much, uh, how much of some curve you're, you're referring to. All right, anyway, so we, the, the, the goal is to calculate the length of this curve. Before I actually calculate it, let's not lose, uh, lose our ability to sketch. So let, let's sketch it real quickly. You can see from this that, that x, that's x, the value of x is fixed at 1. So I've drawn pre-drawn a coordinate axis here, so that'll be x, y, z. So everywhere x is equal to 1, let's make it about here. So there'll be a plane at x equal 1 in which the curve lives. And uh, now, what, what, if you have a curve like this, how do, you, how do you figure out how to sketch it? Well, this is one of these cases where, sorry to write over this, this will be um, y is uh, equal to t squared. That is to say, uh, t is y to the 1 half. We don't have to worry about uh, uh, t is, uh, is strictly positive, so there won't be any issues here about uh, signs. And then this gives us z is equal to t cubed which gives z is equal to y to the 3 halves. 3 halves is bigger than 1, so if we look in the, in the way shown here where this is z and this is y, the curve will be moving this way. And let's just draw on here. If we take that to be 1 unit length and 1 unit length, then the curve will go through this point here. We'll start here. Ah, oops. Anyway. So that's, that's the curve. It's probably not too bad. So that's C. We want to compute its length. All we have to do really is, is plug in the formula. The length of C will be equal to the integral from A to B. Here A is 0 and B is 1 of the modulus of R prime of T dt. So we need this modulus of R prime. Let's first compute R prime. So differentiating. 0, um, 2t, 3t squared. All right, straightforward enough. Modulus of r prime is equal to 0 squared. I'll leave that out. 4t squared plus 9t to the fourth. I think I'll just continue on downwards here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pull out this uh, t that gives me t, uh, I'll leave it for there, 4 plus 9t squared to the 1 half. Um, okay, and again, there's no problem pulling out the t because t is, uh, is strictly positive. So all we have to do, and I think I can just do it in here, all we have to do now is, is integrate, so we can just plug in here. Integral from 0 to 1 of t times 4 plus 9t squared to the 1 half dt. In this case, it's rather easy to integrate. That's going to be a 4 plus 9t squared to the 3 halves, and 27. And that will be evaluated between 0 and 1. Uh, at 1, I get 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 to the 3 halves. So I haven't forgotten the 27. Uh, plug in 0, 0, I get 4 to the 3 halves, so it's minus 4 to the 3 halves divided by 27. And there you go. That's your answer. I'll put a box around it. All right. So as I said, not a very inspired uh, question, but nevertheless it shows the steps that you have to go through in order to compute the, the arc length. And the, the real trick is whether you're going to be able to actually do this interval or not. So I'll go on and do a slightly more um, sophisticated problem in the next screencast.